Today I'm going to show you how to create an ebook using Google Drive for free. The first thing you want to do is go into your Google Drive, log in, and click on Create. You're going to choose a document from the drop down menu, and you're going to give it a name. Then you're going to tab over to wherever your text has been written for your ebook. Control A. Select all, control C to copy. Tab over back to your Google Drive, click on your ebook, control V to paste. Scroll up to the top wherever you want to start your editing. You can insert your logo by clicking insert and image, locating your file. Now that we've inserted our image, we're going to resize it a little bit to fit our window here. We don't need it huge, we just want it to be on our page in general. We're going to center our picture and we're going to give it a title page. So by giving it a title page we can make it actually look like a book. So we're going to have our text start on the second page here. So your picture, or your logo, alright, so now we can copy this text here, or uh, select this text here, and change it based on our specifications. Gonna start looking more professional as we make it. Uh, give it a title page. And you can edit that to whatever makes you um, happy with your ebook. You can put any uh, special notes at the bottom, like for grandma or whatever, you know, just make it look more like a book. We want our first page to start here. You can edit your footer by clicking hmm, header footer. So insert footer. And then you can tell it you want page numbers. So one, you know, like that. You can scroll down and do this on every page. page number, bottom of the page, and then it will count now that you've told it to add that, so there's two. Alright, so let's start editing the actual meat of our text. With ebooks, if you're not making a long one, it's a good idea to make your text really big. This is just a tip sheet that I'm creating here, so I'm going to see how this looks. Is that text too big? That looks like a good text to start with. Sometimes your formatting can get a little crazy when you move it from one um, one word processor to another, which is what's happened here. You can go through and edit all of the little weird things that happen with your text. Remember to always save your other Word document so that way you're not having to um, actually put in new data if something's happened you know, to your data. Okay, so we have a little bit of, um, you know, of a cohesive book coming together here. You can center this text and give it more of a header feel. So what I like to do is make it a little bigger than my other stuff. I like to give it its own line. I like to center it. I 
I like to put a section number. Depends on how you're doing. So this is a list. So, um, it, you know, section one or something like that may work well for whatever you're doing. You may want to put something more like chapter. One. And you can come down here and drop it like this and give it its own big heading like that. When you're all done editing it just the way you want, you can play with all of these tools up here. Then you click on File and Download. Click on Download as a PDF and follow the information there. It'll tell you, you know, t title it and, and how you want to save it. Usually it just pops it down. If you have your title up here, it's not untitled, it'll just download it. It'll, when you click on Download as PDF, it just pops up down here in your um, download bar. So I hope that is a little information that can help you start creating ebooks for whatever task you have um, that you may want to put on your squeeze page or whatever like that. If you want any more videos, go to certfix.com.